So let's talk about electrolytic cells. Now these are the opposite of voltaic or galvanic cells. This is where you take a non-spontaneous reaction and you make it occur by adding energy to it. So normally you hook it up to a battery or plug it into the wall. Um, and so the general kind of picture of this is you've got a battery. Okay, so here's my battery. Okay, so it's got two electrodes. It's a nice battery. And over here, I've got kind of a beaker. And in here, I'm going to put my two electrodes. Okay, this one will make the cathode, and this one will make the anode. Um, in the battery, the electrons go from the battery into the cathode, because they're reducing something there. Okay, and then the electrons go from the anode back into the battery. Okay, so they go from the cathode to the electrode and then back from the anode back to the battery. Um, and then there's metal ion in here and it comes in here and reacts with the electrons and it makes a metal and what happens is this metal will coat this electrode. Okay. So if we look at this, for instance, if I use an anode that's made of copper, okay, it's going to kick copper ions into solution, right? Because the copper will make copper ion and electrons. So the electrons will go like that, and the copper will come into solution. Let's see if I can pick a better color there. Okay, the electron, the copper will go in there, and what they'll do is this copper will come over here to this electrode and react with the electrons and form copper metal, and you can see the copper will coat this electrode. So we're really just taking this copper from the anode and plating it onto the cathode. So it's not like you're making copper, you're moving it from one place to another. So for instance here, if we wanted to plate something in silver, we would use a silver anode, okay, and at this anode, silver turns into silver ions and electrons. So the electrons go that away, and the silver gets kicked into solution, and then the electrons come in here, and they combine with the silver ion, and it plates this. So for instance, if you used a silver electrode and a spoon, you could plate your spoon in silver and then you have a silver spoon. Um, you may or may not have these lying around your house depending on how corny your parents are, but uh, a lot of times these are, you might have bronze plated little baby shoes. So it's the same idea as you take a, an electrode made of bronze and you put the shoe in there, yeah, that's a shoe, and this kicks the ions in here, and then they plate the shoes. So you can have cute, adorable little baby shoes plated in bronze. So that's sort of the overall, overall view of what electrolysis or electroplating looks like.